is Chris Chong Chan Fui. I'm from Malaysia and I'm presenting a film in the Kenzen this year um, called Karaoke. So um, I found out about the selection probably about five weeks ago. It's quite last minute and uh, I was doing my... I just finished locking the picture and I was in Bangkok and I was in a final mix studio and that's when I got a call I think about one o'clock in the morning and saying that it was selected so it was quite surprising because I thought the, the whole process was finished and I thought it was done and, and yeah so it was quite surprising. Karaoke is essentially it's a story of a homecoming. Um, in Malaysia there is this um, term called balik kampung which is just uh, returning home. So I wanted to use that to tell the story in a different way by using something like a karaoke videos. So it kind of follows the story of a young man who returns back from the city to his mother uh, who runs a karaoke place. And she lives in a small village in a palm oil plantation. Before we shoot the film, I always have a, uh, this Robert Bresson's uh, cinematograph book and then what I can do with the image and the sound. So basically, what we did in dubs for this karaoke, I asked a main actor to, to, uh, to dub over and over and over again, like what uh, Robert Bresson did. Also, this is like a style and the directors and the uh, uh, entire structure is different, but uh, I, I was very inspired by uh, his, uh, his aesthetics. Well, I, could, I have a lot of uh, influence from French film, not from uh, his project. Alan, Alan Lovegrier, um, uh, I really like his works, and uh, there's a sound, called, uh, sound guy called uh, Michel Fano. More or less like my works are uh, pretty much influenced by a uh, French mm. film. This is the first Malaysian film in Cannes uh, in 14 years. So it's a very big occasion, and this project, like most, uh, most independent projects, is really about um, working with people that you really love and that you really care about and that can contribute. So it really makes it something of their own. So it's really a true collaboration. So I hope that's not too much of a cliche, but it's, it is really a collaboration. Actually, we were supposed to finish the film in July, but uh, because of the selection here, it just like we just had to finish it. So I don't know how we finished it. Actually, it was it was a bit. It was very difficult, but we were so happy and excited that we did like, okay, we go all the way. Uh, there's no choice, actually. Our film commission equivalent in Malaysia, they don't give grants for feature films. So they helped us a little bit with uh, for promoting the film. Yeah. For promoting the film, for bringing the crew here yeah. and the cast. And uh, We're hoping that maybe we can get the film to premiere at the Malaysian Film Festival as well. Um, which will be held in the same town where Chris is from. So there's a big buzz going on there about karaoke. I just love to be here. It's a huge festival. So I was so surprised that um, karaoke got nominated for the camera adult. So it's very, very, yeah, surprising. Uh, it's my second feature film, but it's my first playing a lead role. So karaoke. Yeah, I'm so lucky because I get to act. This is my first uh, leading. So I got selected in Cannes. Yeah. <laughs>
people say that I'm so lucky that I say yeah because I work with all these hardworking people with Chris and all the people behind the productions. Independent Malaysian cinema is digitally was really influenced by people like Ho Xiao Xian and, and Dai Ming Liang. So it was a combination of reality and a little bit of um, of a little bit of wit and charm. The good thing about uh, the independent cinema in Malaysia is that they really want to do uh, stories. It's really about writing, and it's um, which is really nice. It's 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 about personal stories. So I, I like the fact that it begins this way. And even though everyone everyone is making films digitally, so it's very quick. But the core of it actually is coming from actual stories, actually something that's personal and I think that's that's a very good way to start. In the last 10 years there's been a new sort of independent movement uh, largely by a group called Da Huang Pictures that have been very important for independent Malaysian cinema and doing new style of storytelling. Right now in Malaysia there's such a, a, a change politically and, and, and major shifts and I think that the, this is, has, has brought up a lot of issues within the community so I think along with those issues come storytellers and I think that karaoke comes from a certain time in Malaysia where there is a great shift uh, politically socially within the country and, and I think this film reflects that as well as well as economic uh, indications such as the the multinational plantations and so it's a it's a change in the landscape change in the political landscape so it's a, it's a very sort of interesting, rich time for storytellers and filmmakers. You are 20 minutes before the projection. Can you tell me a little what you feel and what you expect? And what I'm, I'm very excited to watch it uh, first time and uh, a bit yeah, a bit nervous actually, but I, I, I can't wait. First time you see the movie? First time, yeah. So I hope mm, people are going to love it. You agree? <laughs> Fine. I think I'm, no, I'm, I'm very, actually quite relaxed and quite excited about it too. Quite a, yeah, it's kind of an abuzz from the last film, so I'm quite happy, so. Mm. Alors on a quelques minutes de la projection. Alors le sentiment c'est quoi euh, Nerveux, hyper nerveux. Il euh, y a du monde qui fait la queue, donc c'est déjà pas mal. Mais euh, le stress monte quand même. <rire> Je suis super content, mais le stress monte. C'est la première fois que l'acteur principal voit le film, c'est ça C'est la première fois qu'il va voir le film. C'est la première fois que la plupart des gens vont voir le film en fait sur 35, puisqu'on a fini la, la bobine à l'arrache. Et euh, donc ça va être une découverte pour beaucoup de monde. Ouais. Moi j'ai vu le film et sans les sous-titres, donc euh, il y a quand même une découverte aussi. <rire> Merci. Vous verrez que c'est un film extrêmement envoûtant, très, très beau, très, très simple, mais avec un, un rapport au monde et un rapport aux, aux hommes et aux femmes d'une très grande poésie et d'une très grande sensualité. Je vous demande d'applaudir le réalisateur de karaoké, Chris Chong Chan Fui. Hello, yeah, thank you very much for all of you for being here. I'm so excited to be here watching this film for the first time by all of you. Thank you. Merci d'être là et je suis très J'ai beaucoup aimé le film parce que c'est un film euh, extrêmement doux, enfin extrêmement, extrêmement poétique, et pas, pas seulement contemplatif, mais en tout cas un film d'observation du réel, mais sur un mode poétique. Et, et c'est une tendance qui me plaît beaucoup dans le cinéma, et pas seulement dans le cinéma asiatique. Hein. Donc voilà, j'avoue que j'ai été, je suis entré dans le film un petit peu comme, euh, voilà, comme quelqu'un qui s'est laissé envoûter par, euh, à la fois par la, 
l'ambiance qui, 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 qui règne dans la ville et qui est, qui est parfaitement euh, retranscrite dans le, dans le film. C'est un film assez minimaliste, mais euh, voilà, en même temps, j'ai très beau, en même temps très plein, très, très minimaliste, en même temps plein d'émotions, de, 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 de sensations. C'est un film euh, qui repose beaucoup sur la sensation et j'ai ai aimé la sensualité de, de ce film. Et en plus, il s'agissait d'un premier film, il s'agissait d'un film malaisien, donc euh, la Malaisie est quand même un pays qui est, qui est sous-représenté dans, dans beaucoup de festivals, enfin en tout cas à Cannes, à ma connaissance, il euh, n'y a pas beaucoup de films malaisiens. Alors, co comme le film nous plaisait, comme il y avait vraiment une curiosité pour ce film, en plus il était malaisien et que c'était pour nous aussi faire œuvre d'utilité, c'était aussi faire une bonne action, je dirais à la fois pour, le, pour, le, pour cette partie du monde et puis pour ce jeune cinéaste, on n'a on a pas hésité longtemps et on a... On a on a décidé d'une projection à la quinzaine et j'espère que ça se passera bien, que les gens aimeront le film. Le film a trouvé un vendeur avant Cannes, les gens se sont intéressés au film. Donc voilà, j'espère que ça, ça va continuer. So it is the, the night before my last day, so uh, we're at the Kenzen uh, closing night party. So I'm very excited to be here and I'm quite exhausted, quite tired. So But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that what has happened. So it's time to relax and have one last glass of champagne before I go home. So thank you very much. <laughs>